So we've come to visit a few of the uh, camps that have propped up, a few of the tents that have propped up. This is actually a, what looks like a drainage tunnel. It's made out of cement and uh, Nurhaba and her family have accommodated it. Now, we've asked her her story and what the situation has been like for her, how it was fleeing Myanmar, what it was like for her there. She actually lost her husband some time ago, so she's already a widow and she had six children. On the journey from Myanmar to Bangladesh, she lost three of her children. They had to flee and in their desperation, they got on a boat which was already packed. This boat then capsized and three of our young children, one of them as young as one years old, they all fell into the water basically. They weren't able to swim. She managed to save another three of them. Now they're living here in this condition. She actually spent two days near the border looking for her children and she managed to find her daughter's body and they performed her janaza. She still hasn't found the bodies of her other two children. And now this is the condition that they're living in. This is the story of just one family, my brothers and sisters. There are over 400,000 people that have fled Myanmar and come into Bangladesh seeking safety from the persecution that they faced. This is not a condition that they should be living in. They've been living here for a number of days now. Just sitting outside here is very uncomfortable. Imagine sleeping here day and night. We've, had, we've been here during crazy monsoon rains and thunderstorms. It would be an extremely scary experience, especially when the water gets so high that it starts coming through the drainage tunnel. We need to provide families like Nurhabas with shelter, proper, proper shelter, my brothers and sisters. Somewhere that they can sleep in comfort, where they're not curled up, almost in a bull shape. Please come forward and donate anything that you can give. They've been through enough suffering already. We need to try and provide them with some kind of comfort. To make that donation, call 0121 446 5682 or visit islamichelp.org.uk. And please share this video to share Nurhaba's story. There are thousands more like it. Share now. Asalaamu Alaikum.